What's up guys, the Mac Helper here, and today I'm going to be doing a video related to desktops and screensavers, things like that. You know, just, first of all, I'm going to teach you how to just take a normal image and how to turn it into your desktop, and then I'll uh, show you some other things you can do. Alright, so let's just say I was to go into iPhoto, and to go into these events, into any picture, so these are some nice uh, Mac wallpapers. So I could simply click on one, click share, and set as desktop. It'll be set as my desktop right there. All right, so that's how you do it through iPhoto. And let's just say you have a random picture on your desktop. So you downloaded something and you want to put it as your wallpaper. All you have to do is option click, sorry, control click, and then set desktop picture. It's as simple as that, and it will set in a second. There you go. And there it is, it's set. So that's how you set desktop pictures. Or you can go into... Um, Show view options. No, sorry. You go into system preferences and desktop and screensaver. And then there are the, the just the normal ones that come with the Mac. So let's say I was to put I guess I'll put this one right now. Alright, so that's how you uh pretty much change your desktop on a Mac. Your desktop wallpaper on a Mac. Alright. So what you can also do, let's say you use spaces and for and and a really good way to, you know, distinguish your spaces to give individual wallpapers for each. There's an application called Hyperspaces. What it does is it sets individual wallpapers for each of your spaces. So my, my second space, and also you can write a title for it, so I'm going to show you how to do this. So you download the application and it also opens up here and you can just switch between your apps. But if you want to get into the settings, you're going to right click here and click on Hyperspace Preferences. So what you do is you go like to the first space and it'll just you can like change the label. I can change it to like like browsing. That's really what my first one is. And then you can change the image here and the color or anything like that. So I want to change the third one because it's set as the same picture as my first one. So all you do is you click this little finder button and I'll go to photos. I will go to this section and I'm going to change it to this picture right here right there scale fit screen everything space 3 what's my space 3 I forget what my space 3 is but anyways that's that and then for space 4 I have it set to social like Twitter and instant messaging and things like that and I have that specific but all I have to do is now each individual one has its own wallpaper and, it's, and you can change the title right here as you can see so this is just a good way to change your wallpapers for each individual space and it's just a really helpful tool. Alright, and then the last thing I was going to show you is this thing called a Mac desktop. And what it is, is like, it's like, instead of just having still wallpapers, it's like moving wallpapers. So what you can do is you can um, go to the preferences, go to the ports, and choose different ones like Super, this is the one I have, Supernova, Earth and Sun, just different ones. Uh, rotating gears, Different ones, uh, flying star. That's pretty cool, just like a little thing, just moving around and stuff. It's really cool, you know. It's just like a customizable. You can even put your favorite web page. You can set a web page. You can set a QuickTime movie, or you know the quartz ones that they have. So I'm gonna quit out of that for now. So yeah, that's my uh, video on how to change uh, many different ways to change your desktop wallpapers on a Mac. And the last thing I thought I'd show you really quickly. So let's say you're in desktop screensaver. You can also set to change picture every up to every five seconds actually. So I can do that. And it should, I think, like flip the picture. It might not though because I have this launched. But anyways, you can just set your pictures to, you know, be switched around every so so many seconds or every so many minutes. You know, if you just want to, like, pretty much play a slideshow of your pictures. But anyways, this has been my video on uh, how to change your desktop wallpapers on a Mac. If you guys enjoyed this video, please write, comment, subscribe, and um, thanks, guys. Bye.